What you just saw was the Livingston Avenue Bridge. Built way back in the early 20th century, the Livingston Avenue Bridge has become a major choke point along New York's busy Empire Corridor, consistently delaying trains and stalling progress. But now, this aging structure is finally undergoing a long overdue, absolutely critical transformation. The New York State Department of Transportation has launched a sweeping replacement project to modernize this essential crossing. This $635 million effort marks a historic investment in the region's future. Construction officially began in 2024 and is underway, promising to dramatically improve regional connectivity and supercharge economic growth. Curious about what's happening with this project? Stay tuned, we're breaking it all down for you. Before we dive in, if you find this content valuable, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We're aiming for 10,000 subscribers, and your support makes a big difference. If this bridge was to have to, to close, say, for emergency repairs, uh, we would basically be cutting off passenger rail service in New York State. The Livingston Avenue Bridge, a crucial rail connection between Albany and Rensselaer, is undergoing a major transformation. Originally built in 1866 by the Hudson River Bridge Company, the bridge is a swing-style one. And today, it serves as a vital link on the Empire Corridor, supporting 12 Amtrak passenger trains and between two and six freight trains daily. As a key piece of infrastructure, the bridge has historically supported regional development by improving market access and strengthening local economies. However, the Livingston Avenue Bridge is over 100 years old and is reaching the end of its useful life, which is why it needs to be replaced. Due to its deteriorating condition, all trains must cross at reduced speeds, limiting efficiency and capacity. The main parts of the bridge included both above and below of the bridge are in fair to poor condition, making it harder to keep the bridge safe and working properly. The swing span, which allows boats to pass, is especially worn out and needs constant repairs just to stay in use. The bridge also doesn't meet modern design standards. It can't carry heavy loads, doesn't allow trains to go as fast as they can on nearby tracks, and doesn't have enough space for today's train and boat traffic. Even though the bridge has two tracks, only one train can use it at a time, which limits how much traffic it can handle. All of these problems show why replacing the bridge is so important for keeping rail and boat traffic moving safely and efficiently. When the Livingston Bridge was first built, our nation was divided. We were at civil war with each other. But this bridge, the Livingston Avenue Bridge, was built to do the opposite. The Livingston Avenue Bridge Replacement Project is a transformative infrastructure project designed to modernize a key rail crossing over the Hudson River and support a more efficient, reliable, and inclusive transportation network. At the heart of the project is the replacement of the aging swing bridge with a state-of-the-art two-track vertical lift bridge. This upgrade will improve train operations by allowing uninterrupted movement in both directions, increasing capacity, and minimizing delays. Supporting these core improvements is a broader set of enhancements aimed at ensuring long-term functionality and resilience. The new bridge will feature a seven-span structure and a rail elevation raised by two feet, allowing for a deeper floor system while preserving existing waterway clearance. The navigational channel beneath the bridge will also be widened, enhancing maritime access and safety for vessels traveling the Hudson River. In addition, the project emphasizes multimodal accessibility, a shared-use path for pedestrians and cyclists will connect Albany and Rensselaer, encouraging non-motorized transportation and offering a safe, direct route across the river. This feature supports broader community goals related to mobility, recreation, and sustainability. The reconstruction also includes key improvements to the surrounding rail infrastructure. On the Rensselaer side, the triangular rail junction will be reconfigured to allow smoother train-turning movements. While on the Albany side, the rail bridges over water and center streets will be rehabilitated and modernized to meet the new system's standards. These upgrades are expected to yield significant operational and economic benefits. The new bridge will eliminate existing structural and track deficiencies, resulting in more reliable service and fewer delays for both passenger and freight trains. It will also bring the corridor to a long-term state of good repair, reducing maintenance demands and ensuring safe operation well into the future. Construction of the Livingston Avenue Bridge replacement began in May 2024 and is expected to be completed by March 2028, with a total construction timeline of four years. Prior to selecting the final design, 
FRA, and NYSDOT evaluated several alternatives to determine the most effective solution for replacing this aging and critical piece of infrastructure. No action alternative. Keeping the current bridge would require ongoing repairs, but wouldn't fix its major issues. Load limits, clearance problems, and mechanical failures with the old swing span would continue, causing delays for both trains and boats. The track junction on the east side would stay misaligned, reducing efficiency, and the bridge's old parts would remain unreliable. Build Alternative 1, North Alignment. This plan proposes a new two-track movable bridge 200 feet north of the current one. It would include a vertical lift span, widening the navigation channel to 190 feet and raising clearance to 60 feet when open. Train speeds would improve to 40 miles per hour for passengers and 35 miles per hour for freight. The two-track design and better mechanics would allow more trains to cross with fewer delays. Build Alternative 2, South Alignment. This option builds the new bridge 50 feet south and includes a shared path for pedestrians and cyclists. It would use eight piers and involve shifting the east track junction and upgrading nearby rail bridges. Like the north plan, it improves train speeds, boat clearance and access for different users. New York State and its Department of Transportation plan to invest around $400 million to replace the aging Livingston Avenue Railroad Bridge. The reconstruction of the Livingston Avenue Bridge is being made possible through a combination of the New York State Department of Transportation in partnership with the FRA, marking a significant investment in the region's rail infrastructure. One of the most notable aspects of this project is the unprecedented $215.1 million federal grant awarded through the Consolidated Rail Infrastructure and Safety Improvements Program. Announced on October 25, 2024 by Governor Kathy Hoko, this grant represents the largest amount ever awarded under the program, highlighting the national importance of the bridge replacement effort. This major federal investment is being leveraged as part of the New York State Department of Transportation's broader $33 billion five-year capital plan. The funding supports the replacement of a critical rail connection across the Hudson River between Albany and Rensselaer. To carry out the project, the New York State Department of Transportation has awarded a $635 million contract to Skanska, a globally recognized construction firm based in Sweden. Skanska will be responsible for the design and construction of the new bridge, ensuring it meets modern standards for safety, capacity, and efficiency. The collaboration between federal and state entities, along with international engineering expertise, highlights the scale and importance of the project for the capital region and for the broader Northeast Rail Corridor. Do you think this project will help improve the service in the Northeast Corridor? Comment 1 if you agree and 0 if you don't. However, what are some challenges the project is facing? The reconstruction of the Livingston Avenue Bridge presents a number of significant challenges. Currently, the bridge restricts train movements to a single track at a maximum speed of just 15 miles per hour, creating a major bottleneck in a corridor where much higher speeds are possible. Any disruption or detour from this route could result in delays of up to 2.5 hours highlighting the lack of viable alternatives and the urgency of completing the replacement on time. One of the most pressing challenges is the project's high cost and associated funding uncertainty. Initially estimated at $400 million, the project's cost was revised in 2024 to approximately $634.8 million, driven by rising infrastructure and construction costs. Although a historic $215 million federal grant has been secured, the remainder of the funding must still be allocated. In addition to financial challenges, the construction process itself is inherently complex and poses logistical risks. Replacing the bridge while maintaining the vital flow of rail and river traffic requires careful planning and execution. At a certain stage of the project, specifically during the final installation of the lift, both rail and maritime traffic will need to be temporarily halted. Even brief closures could cause substantial disruptions to Amtrak's operations and freight services, as well as to vessels navigating the Hudson River. Coordinating this work with minimal impact to both rail customers and marine users will demand precise scheduling, stakeholder coordination, and possibly even temporary infrastructure workarounds. Thanks for taking the ride with us today. Subscribe and we will see you next time.